Hey, Carolyn, what do we have here? Well, this is certainly not our boss, the genie in a bottle. <laughs> it is actually called a Cartesian diver, mm -hmm. and it is used to demonstrate Boyle's law. Mm -hmm. Give it a squeeze. All right. <gasps> oh, look at that. Inside the tube, something's happening. Mm -hmm. Squeeze <gasps> harder. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So if I let go, will it? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Well, can... have you ever gone diving before? I have dived at a pool. Yeah, absolutely. Or in the bottom, you know, down to the bottom. What do you feel the deeper you go into water? Oh, my ears start to crackle a little bit, especially at the deep end. Yeah, they get that's more exactly push. right. Because the pressure is changing the lower you get in the pool. Okay. Correct? So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're actually going to be studying Boyle's Law. As all of you know, Boyle's Law really shows that relationship between volume and pressure of gases. So we are going to work with very simple materials today. We have a syringe and we have a wireless pressure sensor. So what Roger's done is he's actually filled the syringe just with 30 milliliters of air. We are going to be running the experiment as indicated in your worksheet, um, beginning with 30 milliliters of air. Let me just do this a little bit so you can see that as well when I change those volumes. Okay, okay so we've half filled. So what, uh, well, what should I do? Thing, Let's I am make going sure to put on my here. safety goggles. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to retract the plunger okay. to 60 milliliters. Right. And I will press the start button because I'm going to start measuring the pressure when you retract that plunger to 60. All right, I'm on 60. You're 60. Now you're going to move that plunger to 55. Okay, I'm good there. And 50. Okay, we're going to let it sit for a second because I know I can That's change right. the temperature as well when I push or pull on this thing. That is a very good observation. Okay. And then let's 45. 45. There we are. Let's give 40 a go. Okay. There I am. And 35. All right. How about 30? Okay. How's it feeling about now? Well, it feels I can even let go, and it's right back to where we were before. So there must be exactly no effort. Okay, here's your next challenge. Move uh, it down to twenty-five. The squish pressure test here. All right, at twenty-five. There you go, and finally down to twenty. All right. Are you all set? Sure. All right. So we've finished one run of this experiment. You are required to do four different runs. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be taking a break to finish off the other runs and present you with the collected data. So you should be able to find the data and you can do your own analysis and you'll have those four runs um, and they'll be right next to the file as the teacher provides for you.